Welcome back to Real Estate Today. I'm Elliot Kulik, and we're back with Jeff Gallia of BTA, Boca Theater and Automation. You know, Jeff, everyone always thinks that, you know, and even myself as a salesman, you know, you, you see all of this great stuff, and you decide that you really want it, and you just think it just happens, that all you're going to do is just plug it in, and that's it. And I think it's important to tell everyone at home that behind making it simple, that there is a complex procedure that you have to go through to kind of make it happen. Once we analyze customers' needs after kind of showing them all the different possibilities, we do have to create a blueprint, and that's what, what this is, is a, is a wiring diagram for the entire house's infrastructure. We locate the central equipment closets. This was a, a very large home, an 11,000 square foot home, so we needed two equipment closets that were connected together. But we go through each of our subsystems, and we just kind of lay out, position where the speakers are, um, in you know, uh, we have to pay attention to where your hi hats are, where your lights are. We work with the interior designers for positioning on a lot of these things, and then and then we just have to you know make an inventory and and uh, and figure out how much wire you need and so forth. Um, yeah. Once we go through a, a wiring diagram like this, the the next set is to um, go through equipment selection, and that's a budgeting process where you right. know. Um, people can spend really several thousand up to hundreds of thousands on this right, kind of, of course. stuff. Just like uh, buying any type of uh, right. car or house right. even. One plasma, five plasma. I mean, the, the, it's all over the map really because it's a custom job for, for each person. Now, let me answer this question. At what stage, in a perfect world, what stage do you want to get involved in? Well, um, on, a, on, a new on new construction. Certainly, um, you know, around framing time is, is uh, any, any, if you go past electrical, then, uh, then, you know, the, usually the builder wants to close up the walls and move on. So we like to get in as early as possible. So you don't need to be there with the architect. Well, once once you've settled on where everything, I don't need to be there while you're deciding where the walls go. I'd rather right. have sort of a finished uh, blueprint, an AutoCAD drawing, uh, digital copy that we can take and import into our system. All right. So once you've kind of figured things out, though, we you should talk to us first so we can make sure you've got room for an equipment closet. Okay, so that would be uh, in the beginning stages. That, that's usually the, the first thing. Um, and before electrical, we, we would tell them where to run ground wires, make sure everything's properly grounded, make sure the equipment closets had air conditioning in them, as well as uh, proper power and service. All your, all your service entries like cable, right. satellite feeds, telephone, so forth, should all, should all terminate into that equipment room. So after the architect gets done with major stuff, but before you've you actually sort of locked everything down, um, is probably when best to get us involved. Now let me ask a, a follow-up question to that. We're talking about coordinating all of the home automation, right. but since you deal with audio, and do you want to be involved in how they do the, you know, the ceilings so this way acoustically, you know, it sounds better, or that's not really what you get involved with? Well, certainly in a dedicated theater room, that's yeah. all we're about, is making okay. that room sound optimal. In fact, you're, you're, you're better off putting in less expensive speakers and acoustically treating a room than you are the other way around. What about the rest of the house, to have music sound the way it should, or really is that for someone who's very... Well, usually... Usually the decorator wins in those situations. Right. Pe people have a look that they're going after in their house. Right. And that's why we have so many different choices of speakers. We might put them in wall, like in this room, in ceiling. We might hide them behind fabric in another case. We try and fit the decor that you've got, rather than try and change the house to fit the electronics. Okay, so now, now that we know that there is a, an involved process to, to put it all together, from beginning to end, someone meets you on day one, to the day you can install it, excluding how long it takes the builder to build the house. How long does it take you to put it all together for someone? Let's presume the house is already up and there's no issues as far as the fact that it's, you know, a resale. You know, as far as getting it in, you know, I'm sure sometimes things can get delayed a mm -hmm. little bit. How long does the process usually take? Well, there's normally a, a couple of meetings during the interview process to go through the education, some of the stuff that we talked about earlier right. in the show. Um, we go through that, I, I would say, you know, two to four hours to do something like that to, to get information from the customer. And then we need about a week to do a design, and then we go through sort of an approval process with the customer. And I think one of the things, just to wrap up, I think one of the things I, I want to at least bring home to everybody is, you know, this type of automation and um, theaters, whether it's a home theater or a media room, is not really just for everybody who's buying a million, two million, or three million and up house. 
I mean, now you had said that this has become a little more affordable and that people who are buying houses for 600, 700, 800,000 can really partake in, you know, pieces of this or all parts of this puzzle. Right. Right. And I think it's very exciting and I, you know, I really want to thank you. I hope you really enjoyed the show. I think it was really informative. I think it really brought out a lot of points that it's not just about getting a home theater or just buying a TV or just buying a stereo. It's really kind of pulling it all together. So, uh, Jeff, why don't we go back and uh, watch that movie? Okay. Okay, great. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Real, Real Estate, Estate Today. Today.